I've had this before and it really does taste like vomit. <laughs> ah. Hello Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. Today is a special day for two reasons. One, we get to go back to Hogwarts today. But two, the big exciting reason, it's the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the publication of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone in the United States. Where were you 20 years ago on September 1st, 1998? 20 years since Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone was published in the United States. Scholastic released a 20th anniversary celebration edition, actually a whole set of all seven books. Uh, illustrations by Brian Selznick. I have a video right up here. You can check that out to get a more detailed look at the books in that set, but not only to celebrate this new edition, the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter in the United States, I am giving away, yeah, another giveaway. If you know me and you watch me for a while, you know I like to do giveaways. I am giving away, not one, but three sealed box sets, 20th anniversary box sets, illustrated by Brian Selznick. Inside is Voldemort. Seriously, if you haven't seen that video, you can check that out right over here. Three of you will have the opportunity to win one of these brand new sets. The giveaway is open to worldwide entries. Check out the description below for information on how to enter. Let's get the 20th anniversary celebration started. I am going to read part of chapter six, the journey from platform nine and three quarters. I should probably get into my Slytherin robes first though. Be right back. I'm all set. Are you all set? Before we start, I want to really quickly blow through all seven of those new 20th anniversary books for you to see. Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hollows. What's so cool about these books is when you put them together, they make one long mural. You may also remember from a previous video that I purchased a chocolate frog and a pack of Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans from the Universal Studios store in the Orlando airport. I'm gonna open up this, see what card we got, and open this, and see what flavors we get. So pull up a chair with me, and let's read a little bit from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, or Philosopher's Stone, wherever you're from. Actually, why don't you grab your copy of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, or Philosopher's Stone. So pause this video, grab your book, and turn to chapter six. Now I'm gonna jump around a little bit in this chapter. In this book, it's page uh, 90. It's when Harry woke up at five o'clock in the morning. Harry woke at five o'clock in the morning and was too excited and nervous to go back to sleep. He got up and pulled on his jeans because he didn't want to walk into the station in his wizard robes. He'd change on the train. Good thinking. He checked his Hogwarts list yet again to make sure he had everything he needed, saw that Hedwig was shut safely in her cage, and then paced the room, waiting for the Dursleys to get up. Two hours later, Harry's huge, heavy trunk had been loaded into the Dursleys' car. Aunt Petunia had talked Dudley into sitting next to Harry, and they set off. They reached King's Cross at half past ten. Uncle Vernon dumped Harry's trunk onto a cart and wheeled it into the station for him. Harry thought that was strangely kind, until Uncle Vernon stopped dead, facing the platforms with a nasty grin on his face. Well, there you are, boy. Platform 9, Platform 10. Your platform should be somewhere in the middle, but they don't seem to have built it yet, do they? He was quite right, of course. There was a big plastic number 9 over one platform, and a big plastic number 10 over the one next to it. And in the middle was nothing. Have a good time said Uncle Vernon with an even nastier smile. He left without another word. I'm going to skip a little further, but first, let's open up that chocolate frog. It's really good chocolate. It's not a hollow frog, it's a solid frog. Ah. Ooh, I'm so excited to eat this. <gasps> Yay! I got Birdie Bot! This chocolate frog, I think, came out at Celebration of Harry Potter this, this past year, 2018. Here is Birdie Bot's chocolate frog. Wait, he's gone. Well, we can't expect him to hang around all day, can we? Here's the back of his card. Look at that beautiful hunk of chocolate. Mmm. So, so good. The other thing I love about the chocolate frogs is this box. You can display this 
it's authentic to uh, to the movie prop that we are all familiar with. All right, let's get back to King's Cross. I'm going to skip to when Fred and George go through the barrier and Harry asks for some help. Excuse me, Harry said to the plump woman. Hello, dear, she said. First time at Hogwarts? Ron's new too. She pointed to the last and youngest of her sons. He was tall, thin, and gangling, with freckles, big hands and feet, and a long nose. Yes, said Harry. The thing is, uh, the thing is, I don't know how to, how to get onto the platform, she said kindly, and Harry nodded. Not to worry, she said. All you have to do is walk straight at the barrier between platforms nine and ten. Don't stop, and don't be scared you'll crash into it. That's very important. Best do it at a bit of a run if you're nervous. Go on, go now before Ron. Er, okay, said Harry. He pushed his trolley around and stared at the barrier. It looked very solid. He started to walk toward it. People jostled him on their way to platform nine and 10. Harry walked more quickly. He was going to smash right into the barrier and then he'd be in trouble. Leaning forward on his cart, he broke into a heavy run. The barrier was coming nearer and nearer. He wouldn't be able to stop. The cart was out of control. He was a foot away. He closed his eyes, ready for the crash. It didn't come. He kept on running. He opened his eyes. A scarlet steam engine was waiting next to the platform packed with people. A sign overhead said Hogwarts Express, 11 o'clock. Harry looked behind him and saw a wrought iron archway where the barrier had been with the words platform nine and three quarters on it. He had done it. Okay, now let's fast forward again to where the trolley, the sweets trolley, is going through the train corridor. It's on page 101 in this book, if you have this book. Around half past 12, there was a great clattering outside in the corridor, and a smiling, dimpled woman slid back their door and said, Anything off the cart, dears? Harry, who hadn't had any breakfast, leapt to his feet, but Ron's ears went pink again, and he muttered that he brought sandwiches. Harry went out into the corridor. He had never had any money for candy with the Dursleys, and now he had pockets rattling with gold and silver. He was ready to buy as many Mars bars as he could carry, but the woman didn't have Mars bars. What she did have were Bertie Bots, Every Flavor Beans, Drubal's Best Blowing Gum, Chocolate Frogs, Pumpkin Pasties, Cauldron Cakes, Licorice Wands, and a number of other strange things Harry had never seen in his life. Not wanting to miss anything, he got some of everything and paid the woman 11 silver sickles and seven bronze nuts. Ron stared as Harry brought it all back into the compartment and tipped it onto an empty seat. Hungry, are you? Starving, said Harry, taking a large bite out of a pumpkin pasty. Ron had taken out a lumpy package and unwrapped it. There were four sandwiches inside. He pulled one of them apart and said, she always forgets I don't like corned beef. Swap you for one of these said Harry, holding up a pasty. Go on. You don't want this. It's all dry, said Ron. She hasn't got much time, he said quickly. You know, with five of us. Go on, have a pasty, said Harry. He had never had anything to share before, or indeed anyone to share it with. It was a nice feeling, sitting there with Ron, eating their way through all Harry's pasties, cakes, and candies. The sandwiches lay forgotten. If you have candy at your house or wherever you are, again, pause this video, pick up some candy and bring it back. All right, it's time to open up the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. I'm not going to look, I'm just gonna put it in my mouth and see if I can guess the flavors that are available in this package. Uh, okay, I'm really nervous actually. Oh. Thank goodness. I think this is tutti fruity. That's good. Oh no, I'm looking at some of these flavors. <laughs> oh dear. All right, here we go. Number two. Oh, this is a gross one. No, it's not that bad. I'm guessing this is earthworm. Maybe I should go dig up some earthworms. They're good. Another tutti fruity. Sherbet lemon. Uh, I think this might be vomit. Oh no. Oh, Bertie Bot's every flavor bean. I was most unfortunate in my youth to come across a vomit-flavored one. Since then, I've lost my liking for them. Oh, I should actually get earwax and make this, like, authentic. But I think I'll be safe with a nice toffee. Ah, that laughs. Earwax. <laughs> now I've got to eat the vomit one. I've had this before, and it really does taste like vomit. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. 
You want to be careful with those, Ron warned Harry. When they say every flavor, they mean every flavor. I hope you enjoyed this read-along. If you read along, if you didn't read along, I hope you enjoyed listening to some of this amazing book. 20 years, guys. 21 years of Harry Potter. 20 years in the United States. Pretty awesome. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or what you saw today, please feel free to leave a comment below. I will do my best to get back to you. Or you can send me an email, the Potter, the Potter Collector at gmail.com or a DM on Instagram at the Potter Collector. Don't forget to enter the giveaway for your chance to win one of three sealed 20th anniversary boxed sets. The giveaway is open to anyone in the world, shipping included. I would also love to hear your stories, your Harry Potter journey. How did you get started on Harry Potter? What did you first think about Harry Potter when you read it? For me, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone was gifted to me by my very insightful grandma who wanted to help encourage me to read. And needless to say, I fell in love with the book. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, guys, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?